because we are doing it so that we can reduce yes. on the incidents, the accidents, the fatalities on our roads. Yes. We want to produce courteous drivers, those who will not insult each other because an incident has happened, drivers who will save lives, that is their they can be able to maneuver yes. in case of unusual occurrences. Thank you very much, our viewer, for joining us here in Kenya, East Africa, and across the amazing African continent. Today, we are going to host one of our hosts, Monica Givenchy, the director of Wilcom Driving School. I want to just give her a minute to give an exclusive introduction of herself. Monica, welcome to our studios. Just tell us more about yourself. Good evening, viewers. Thank you for the opportunity. My names are Monica Yudenji. I am the director and the founder of Wilcom Driving School and Computer College. We have three branches at the moment, located in Umoja 3, Kayore Junction, and Tasia. Thank you very much, Madam Monica. Um, I'm glad to hear that you are the director of Wilcom, three branches for now. Allow me to understand, before you came to the level you are of being the director of Wilcom Driving School, where did you begin? Ah, I began far. Um, after my training, mm -hmm. I started with business. I did business. Uh, I, I was just using my skills because... That's, immediately, that's immediately after school. Immediately yes. after, after college. Mm -hmm. Uh, I started using my skills because my initial skills, I did institution management. Mm -hmm. And it, it involved event production. That is about food, about clothes, how you can you can uh, add value. If you're having just a plain t-shirt, you can add value to that t-shirt so that it will add you more. Mm -hmm. uh, if, you, if you're having plain milk, how you can make it into yogurt, you add value. Yes. So those skills that I learned, I, I first started using those skills. So I could bake cakes, I could make yogurt, I could fabricate, I was using tie and dye, batik, and I could sell to people. I had a bakery in my own house. Yes. I was supplying. That was uh, immediately after school. Where did you get some money to buy the equipment to do the productions? I started with what I was using for my children in the house. Yes. Then after some time, I had enough money to buy a mixer, an electric mixer to help mm -hmm. me mix the dough, mm -hmm. and also an oven. I went to the Juakari and I bought a chaco oven. Mm -hmm. But to start with, I started with the, the jiko, the chaco jiko that I had in my house. Mm -hmm. That is where I started. Yes. So I had loved every bit of using my hands. And I could see the product, and when I said it out there, people would love it. Yes. Uh, after that, uh, in the process of uh, the business, I decided to look for a job, and uh, uh, I got a job as a lecturer in a college. Mm -hmm. But that time, I was not trained as yes. a as a lecturer. Yes. So I abandoned the the business I was doing, the small scale business, and. I went to teach in a college, which was global. My Institute. question comes, why did you opt to get to the employment sector and yet you had uh, your personal business, which was a bit started, and perhaps I thought you could have the mind of building and boosting it? I got challenges, Yes, which is very normal in businesses, because I started at a very small scale. Yes. So with that, and I was doing that production in the same house I was living in, with my children, mm -hmm. uh, I got challenges with the, the, the person I had employed, um, uh, failing to come for the job, and in the process, I, I also uh, became expectant. Yes. So yes. for me to do everything that I'm producing and supplying, it became a challenge. So the blessings of the child became yes. the challenge so far. Yes. Thank and you I very much. I decided to go back. Yes. I, I decided to look for a job. Yes. So I got a job mm -hmm. uh, that is in Keno, Global yes. Institute. Yes. Uh, there I was lecturing uh, uh, in production, in housekeeping, mm -hmm. front office. Yes. And I did that passionately mm -hmm. for a whole year. Mm -hmm. But then my dad, I had not mentioned my dad is a teacher. Yes. Was a teacher. A high school now teacher, primary school primary teacher. Primary school yes. teacher. Mm -hmm. And a very passionate 
teacher, mm -hmm. but now he's retired. Yes. So he got me in class and told me, Monica, you cannot be teaching students and you're not a teacher. Yes. You have to go back to class. Yes. So that you get the skills, so that you're able to impart the knowledge to. So your father students. believes in professionalism. Exactly. Okay, thank you. Yes. So he told me, I know you don't have the money, but I will pay for you. Yes. So he got me in class and he told me I have to go back to college. Yes. And I did exactly that. I went, I went and, and I did technical education. Mm -hmm. I graduated. I went for uh, uh, teaching practice. Yes. And uh, after that, I continued uh, lecturing. Now, you did that as a high school teacher or a primary school teacher? Uh, no, I, I was I was a uh, tertiary. I, I was after high school. Okay. Yeah, I was lecturing in uh, colleges. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, do you still have that ambition of lecturing students? I do, but now I do on. Let me say it. It is like on personal level. Yes. Because now I'm I'm not employed and I'm not looking for the employment. Eh? But uh, I am able. Yes. I'm able to. To train yes i'm able to train even my children using the same skills because i got the skills eh? but immediately after college i was able to work for about six years mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah and my last institution i worked in was zitec yes and that was my last uh, uh institution that i was a lecturer in thank the same you. field thank you now you are being called the, the director of welcome driving school can you give us how you are able to stabilize and be able to put up a school as a, 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 a driving school, three of them. What are the struggles? How did you maneuver around until you have now the driving schools? Uh, maybe just to take you a little back. Eh? Yes. After, after, the, after the lecturing, eh? yes. I got a job in managing <laughs> uh, an institution. Now, I started using my initial training yes. of institution management. Yes. So, I was in charge of all operations mm -hmm. in a guest house, which I worked on contract for two years. Which company? I was working with the money center. Okay. Pika Road. Yes. Again, the blessing came again. Yes. I, I became expectant again. Once more. Uh -huh. And I had to go for maternity leave and mm -hmm. things change, change of management. And um, I could not go back to that employment after after the three months because the management has had changed. Yes. So that is the mo moment I made a decision yes. that I'm having my papers. My papers are good. I'm not going to look for a job again. Yes. So I started doing my own businesses. That yes. was now like uh, the point at which my my eyes opened <clears throat> that I must not be em employed. I can look for uh, my own uh business to do and mm -hmm. i become an employer yes so how it happened i looked for a house in south sea and i started hostels mm -hmm. so i've been dealing with hostels yes uh, with students i have been uh uh hosting university college students those mm -hmm. on attachment those who are on session until when COVID came yes so the government closed all the institutions mm -hmm. so there we are we were kicked out of business uh, we were doing very well, so I had to go back to the house. Now going back to the house, a whole year of COVID, mm -hmm. new restrictions to go back. Mm -hmm. The Ministry of uh, Health, they have to come, regulate. So the houses that we could accommodate, for example, 100, mm -hmm. you're now required to accommodate 25 mm -hmm. so that you give them space. Yes. So the rent of the house and the running expenses could not allow. It was a big challenge. Mm -hmm. So at that point is when I came up with an idea and I admired of having a driving school. Yes. I thought now that I have a car, why can't I use what I have? And then I, I expand on that. Because now getting people's house with the amount of rent I didn't have, I had exhausted my, my savings. Yes. But my car, because my car was intact, I decided now let me venture into driving school. That's great. I start, I start with one car. Of course, I experienced challenges because I needed to look for appropriate mm -hmm. location. And with the help of uh, friends who are in driving schools, mm -hmm. I managed to know what is required. Where do you look for a house? So, how to start the branding and all that. So, may, may, may I intercept a bit? Eh? Mm -hmm. 
uh, location scouting is one among the most challenging issues to yes. understand can this business fit such an area yes what are what are some of the criteria that you did put in place to understand that where your position your schools was among the best places to work from it's about the location the location is about the flow of people yes and about the accessibility yes are people able to access easily mm -hmm. where you have located the driving school yes do you have the flow of people not those who are driving but those who are working yes because basically if you locate your business where you're just having drivers passing yes they may not have interest in what you're doing but the people who are working yes are the people you want to trap and they may have interest with what you're doing so the basic thing is about the flow of people and near where people are settled yes the, the locality yeah where people are either settled in terms of business or where they stay thank you madam monica our viewer this is monica gidenji and we shall be taking a short break then when we come back she'll be continue telling us more about welcome driving school and the technical skills and the technical challenges that she faces as she continues with this management of welcome driving school be sure to join me in a short while thank you Indeed, our viewer, this is Welcome Driving School. And as you can see, we are just having one of their vehicles that they use to train students who are doing driving in various aspects and in different classes of driving. Today, we have just been doing an exclusive interview with the director, Monica Gedvinci, who stands direct ahead of me. And this is a part of the cars that they use to do their driving at Wilcom Driving School. What we're telling you is that to be sure to join us at Wilcom Driving School for an exclusive training, proper management of driving courses, and we shall be giving you the proper knowledge to be able to suit our roads. Thank you very much for joining us. I am Daniel Kihuyu. She's the director, Monica Gidenchi. Thank you. Indeed, after the break, our viewer once again with Monica Gedinci, the director of Wilcom Driving School, just telling us more about her school and what they offer. Now, Monica Gedinci, you've told us about the location scouting. You've told us about how you started the three schools. Now, can you tell us the operations of the school? How do you operate as the director, your interaction with the teachers, with the, with the, with the instructors, with the students and all that? All right, thank you. Uh, I have uh, a staff of about 10 yes. instructors uh, for the road and theory yes. and the office people. Mm -hmm. uh, so we do interviews so to check on the qualifications. Eh? Yes. So we train uh, drivers. And we Can you explain the type of uh, classes you offer? Class classes, classify the classes that you offer. All right. Yes. The classes we offer, we offer from the lowest, that is A2, which is for motorbike, the yes. riders. Yes. We train B, both B1 and B2, that yes. is the salon cars. Yes. We train C, which is uh, light trucks. Uh, we train B3, that yes. is uh, Uber, which yes. is uh, PSV. Mm -hmm. uh, we train uh, D. Uh, G, uh, D is also PSV for yes. motor drivers mm -hmm. and the special classes, the G, the E, all of them we do training. Yes. Both the theory and the practical. Okay. Yeah. If someone someone tells you that um, uh, he has a, he has a, for, for example, he has a driving, he has a driving license mm -hmm. and that person would like to to, to get the smart card, mm -hmm. which is a challenge that has found many Kenyans. Yes. What do they have to do? Oh, one just needs to uh, go to the e-citizen, yes. the personal account e-citizen, yes. mm -hmm. and do the application. Yes. And when while doing the application, one needs to have the money in the in the phone, eh? Yes. For the payment, yes. the smart DL, as per now, the NTSA is charging three thousand and fifty shillings. Yes. Uh, but better still, they can come with an system yes. in our school, yes. and uh, we can be able to. Uh, advise them because of the location 
where you are located and your nearest yes. because you need to go and be taken the, the photo and where you, you are going to collect the, the smart DL. Yes. So it is workable, it is doable. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, number two, again, another question. We have a lot of challenges and most people are asking, where can we do this driving? Where do we go for this driving? How can people get you if they want to do this driving? How can we locate you? Oh, you're just a phone call away. Yes. I can give the contact. Yes. If you need any help, you could be stranded in whichever way. There are those who even started and they never finished in yes. other places because of various challenges. Yes. There are those maybe who feel that their finances are not enough. Yes. Quilcom Driving School allows for Malipo Yamdogo Mdogo. Yes. You can come and roll and then you'll be paying according to your capability. So our number contact number is zero seven yes. two two mm -hmm. eight nine zero double six four. Anytime the line is on, you can get contact. You can reach on us. Thank you, Monica Gidenchi. What can you tell our viewers finally about driving school or about driving courses? I tell them it's very interesting. Yes. We're very passionate because we are doing it so that we can reduce yes. on the incidents, the accidents, the fatalities on our roads. Yes. We want to produce courteous drivers, those who will not insult each other because an incident has happened, drivers who will save lives, that is, they, are, they can be able to maneuver yes. in case of unusual occurrences, mm -hmm. and drivers who are able to be in charge of the, 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 the vehicle. Yes. In case of a small mechanical issue, we do basic mechanics that is beyond yes. the, the very small things. Yes. So I can tell them it's very interesting. Yes. And we also do computer. Yes. We are um, telling the youths, especially the youths, mm -hmm. to come so that they get the skills, they can be able to employ themselves and even employ others. There are so many things people can do online. Uh, they should not sit out there, they don't have jobs, or they are waiting for enrollment in campus. The months you're waiting, please come enroll with us, driving, computer, whichever you are able, whichever you are interested, and I can promise you that you're going to get to make good use of those skills. They will be helpful to our society mm -hmm. and to you as an individual. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, our viewer. That is Monica Givinci, the director of Wilcom Driving School. And indeed, she has told us much more about driving courses. And she's calling on Kenyans who do not have the driving license, who do not have the skills to join her at Wilcom Driving School in the three branches one in Kaole Junction, another one in Tasia, and another one in Omoja 3. And I believe and I'm sure that you will be getting it right from her. Thank you very much, Madam Monica, for joining us. Till next time, I just want to welcome you once again in our studio. And be sure to join us anytime, any moment you want to come to our studios. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. News Insight. Goodbye.